when it comes to turbulence, so this is an example of turbulent flow. You can see that we've got small and large turbulent structures that are, be, that are created and then dissipated. The turbulent flow can have unsteady and irregular structures, can be unpredictable in detail, and contains a wide range of eddies that need to be resolved. All right. So these here are just structures, these are small eddies, larger ones. And there are three basic approaches in order to capture turbulent flow. You've got DNS, DNS which stands for Direct Numerical Simulation. Now, this numerically, numerically solves the full unsteady Navier-Stokes equations. It resolves the whole spectrum of scales, but it can be very computationally demanding. LES is large eddy simulations, which resolves the smaller eddies modeling RANs, which is less expensive than DNS, but the efforts and computational resources are still very high for most applications. And what most people would use is RANs, which is a Reynolds average Navier-Stokes simulation. So it solves a time average Navier-Stokes. Uh, many models can be used with it. It's widely used within industrial flow. Within the RANS models, there are a couple different equations that we can use that can be all used for different applications. They can be classed with how many equations are added to the Navier-Stokes equations list with computational resources increasing as you go down the page. So this includes the SPAT-ALMA models, the K-Epsilon and K-Omega families. Uh, there's also more advanced models such as Reynolds stress and transition models, uh, which, increase, which require a lot more computational resources as well. So for the FSAE, it's recommended to use the K-Omega SST turbulence model. Out of the box, it can be used to accurately predict the boundary layer and hence separation. So we can see on the right-hand side, We've got the K-Omega selected, so I'll go over this as well. Uh, we're selecting the SST model. So the SST model allows us to go down to a Y plus as low as one. Right? And we've also going to select um, curvature correction as well. Right? So let's just exit out of that. So when we go to the model over here, um, we're going to double select viscous and we're going to use the K-Omega SST, so K-Omega model, we're going to use the SST part of it, and we're also going to select the curvature correction. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, turbulent, when it comes to turbulence, there's a lot, there's, you know, we can go down a very deep path. Um, there are some turbulence lectures that I'll link everyone to towards later on as well. Um, it is something, though, that, you know, is, is very deep.